Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm super excited to share the full itinerary of our amazing trip to Luxembourg with you. So do watch till the end. We kicked off our adventure from the London City Airport, which is known for its hassle-free vibe. Trust me, no long lines, no crazy crowd at all. The flight we hopped onto was like a mini version of the usual planes. It felt like we are flying at the lower altitude, giving us the most breathtaking views of the landscape below. After almost an hour, we touched down at Luxembourg. We are super excited and the stunning views from the flight window were just a sneak peek of what awaited us on the ground. Here is the jaw-dropping highlight, Luxembourg offers free public transport. Yes, you heard it right, it's free. We hopped into the bus right from the airport without worrying about the ticket or the fares. We checked into our cozy hotel, which I have linked in the description below. It's conveniently located close to the city center, making it a perfect base for our Luxembourg adventure. grabbed a light mill before heading towards the iconic Adolf Bridge. The view from the top was simply breathtaking, a mix of modern and historic architecture framing a beautiful landscape. Next we walk down towards the city center and then towards this stunning fountain near the Fafenthal lift where we are treated with an incredible panoramic view. Top in the lift is a public elevator in Luxembourg, which offers a seamless transition from the upper city to the lower city. And guess what? It is all free for the public to enjoy. After exploring, we wrapped up day one of our trip. The charm of the city and the peacefulness of the surrounding left us excited for what was in the store for the next day. We kicked off our day two with a delicious breakfast at the hotel. made use of the public transport to our next destination which is also referred to as the Luxembourg Little Switzerland. We walked on for a mile to the Dell Foodlands covered with amazing variety of plants and trees and the scenic beauty was beyond walls. Struck by rushing streams, extraordinary biotopes with towering sandstone formations, narrow rock ravines, and mysterious caves. Welcome to Müller Park, also known as the Luxembourg Little Switzerland. It is also famous for its hiking trail. The best way for the hiker to discover this landscape is on the 112 km Müller Thal Trail. 
So guys, if you are planning to visit this place, then make sure to get plenty of water and some food because you won't find anything nearby. However, we managed to find our way to a delightful lunch spot. And here comes the fun part. I decided to distract my husband by giving him a cute pink cloth. Guess what he might have responded? Oh, that's lovely. After a day of adventure, we spent the head back to the city. With a plenty of daylight left, we decided to indulge in a quick bite before continuing our exploration. And oh my, the desert here are simply heavenly. We made our way to the balcony of Luxembourg. The view of the cityscape from here was absolutely breathtaking. We felt like we were standing on a balcony overlooking a living, breathing work of art. Ascending the hill, we explored the bog casements, an intricate network of tunnels and chamber carved in the rocks. Then we followed the Wenzel Path, a historic route that will take you through the heart of the city. As we followed a twist and turn, we couldn't help but marvel at the blend of the old world charm and the modernity. Opting for convenience, we took advantage of the numerous elevators scattered around the city to ascend to the hill once again. As the day wrapped up, we treated ourselves to dinner at the Grand Cafe by Red Bay. The French inspired cuisine offered a delightful twist. And even though we don't eat beef, the chicken and the burrata were just amazing. On our final day, we bid farewell to our hotel and headed to Mudum, a contemporary art museum situated conveniently behind our accommodation. The entry fee for adults is 8 euros and free every Wednesday between 6 pm to 9 pm. We came across an unexpected surprise, public pianos scattered throughout the city, where anyone can sit down and play a tune. Our journey continued as we explored Fort Tungip, an architectural gem that resonated the historical significance, and entry to this place is free. Then we headed to the city center for lunch and our last stop was Grand Ducal Palace, a living tribute of Luxembourg's regal legacy. Boarding the free public transport, we headed back to the airport and with that we conclude our Luxembourg adventure. Your presence on this journey means the world to us. Don't forget to show some love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel and hit that bell icon for more exciting travel stories spanning the globe. 
and also be sure to join us on instagram for real time update until then keep exploring keep dreaming and keep discovering new horizons